Nier Bitten may have been a defensive player during his Celtic career, but no more. He's not holding back. He's going forward and he has launched an attack on the Celtic fans. Welcome back, guys, to Son of Scotland TV. It was a bit of a crap weekend for Scottish football, but it was a bit of a crap weekend in Israel. There was another Hamas attack on Israel, multiple people dead we've seen the terrorists roaming the streets with dead bodies celebrating parading around the streets with the carcasses of the people that they've killed there was like a german woman that they killed and she was in the back of the fan and she was like naked she'd been stripped naked and you've seen all these hamas a terrorist they're not freedom fighters, they're not soldiers, they're terrorists, and they were like spitting on this dead body, completely sick, fucked up shit, and then we get to Celtic Park for the 3 o'clock kickoff against Kilmarnock, and we see these banners, Free Palestine, Victor the Resistance, and it's just so unnecessary, it's so distasteful, regardless of what their political views are on Palestine, we've just seen an attack here from Hamas, and the Celtic fans doing what they do, have to go and support this, and they celebrate this, and it is fucking sick, but can we expect anything less from a club that has have such, it's got such a shit history, let's be honest, they support the terrorists in the IRA, they've got a shitload of paedophilia in the club's history, which they never want to, they, ne they never actually condemn it, they, ne they never want to talk about it, they want to sweep it under the carpet, and they spend their entire days cheering for IRA, cheering for Hamas, cheering for terrorists, and it looks like Near Bitten has had enough, and what I've got to say, fair play to Near Bitten, so he took to Instagram um, before, after the match, and he says, quote, Shame on you. Yes, free Gaza from Hamas, not from Israel. Supporting terror organisations who's proudly celebrating the slaughtering of families is absolutely crazy. Embarrassing. Most of you don't even know where Israel is. You have zero clue about this conflict and you still act like you know everything. As a father for three kids, I want to see how you react when your innocent kids getting slaughtered and kidnapped in front of your eyes. And please don't tell me this is what Israelis do to Palestinians because this is far from being true. Stop being brainwashed and biased and educate yourself with the facts. And I completely agree with Nair Bitten here. Speaking the truth, the Celtic fans are uneducated on this situation they just see similarities with the ira and that is why they support this shit you know it is very sick we've just seen hamas commit these atrocities kill people slaughter people in the streets in in the same day less than 24 hours we, you've got celtic fans bringing banners in and fucking celebrating this in the green brigade section now it's not all celtic fans and i know a lot of celtic fans have come out and condoned this uh, condemned this sorry and they don't want this as part of their club but the club itself should come out and do something because it's unacceptable and I don't know how near Bitten actually stayed there for nine seasons I respect them for coming out and speaking about it now but how did he stay there for nine years this is not the first time this has happened we've seen attacks before from Hamas and I'm sure the Green Brigade have celebrated it for the past 10 years while near Bitten was there so I don't know why all of a sudden he's come out now maybe he feels safer that he's out of Celtic that he's out of Glasgow and that his family's safe and why would he feel that because his wife actually Got a lot of death threats on her Instagram account. She was sharing them. Celtic fans calling her a whore. Calling her all these derogatory comments and words and terms. Just because Near Bitten came out and, and spoke the truth. You know, it is very sick. I don't know how an Israeli player could possibly play for Celtic and feel welcome there. Because um, this shite is not on. And it, it's the timing of it. I mean, if they want to say free Palestine, then you know what? Knock yourself out. But less than 24 hours after the atrocities that's happened this week. And, and, and they're coming out with these. Victor the resistance. A.K.A. They want the terrorists to win. They want Hamas to win. So that that is. You know. It's fucking sick. I expect nothing less. And I've got to wonder though. How can Leel Abada have a future at this club? I, I just don't see it. If I was Leel Abada. I'd be putting in a transfer request first thing. Um, as soon as he gets to January. If I was him. I'd be off. So. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't get it guys. Near bitten though. I respect them for coming out and, and saying this now. He's completely right. The Celtic fans don't know what they're talking about. They need to educate themselves on the matter. And it's just a shame that he couldn't speak out about this when he was at Celtic. But I guess 
I guess that wasn't, wouldn't have been a smart thing to do. The only question I can ask is, why did he stay there so long? Why did he put up with this? Why did he stay at a club that have a large portion of fans that feel this way about his country and about these terrorists that are attacking it on a daily basis? Listen, there is no... There's never going to be peace with the religion of peace. I think we know that. It's such a fucking bogus term. The, the religion of peace is not Islam. You, you look at the world, what, what religion causes the most wars? What religion causes the, the, the most terror attacks? What religion just breeds violence? You know, what, what, what countries, what religious countries have never been able to have peace in the world? And they're all Islamic Muslim countries. Is what it is. Near Britain, respect for speaking out. Uh, I know a lot of Celtic fans have been calling him names, death threats. You're not welcome at Celtic. You're this, you're that, you're a rat. Well, I mean, fuck those people. Near Britain doesn't need them. Near Britain does not need these people. So respect to Near Britain, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, yeah, just a, a bad day for Scottish football when this is the sort of shit that has been celebrated uh, by Celtic. The club should come out and condemn this, but they won't. They won't. I mean, if they want, they have the power to go and remove these banners. They have the power to remove these flags. If they really wanted to, they could. But, you know, they, they won't. It is what it is, guys. They, they will support the terrorists, whether it be IRA or whether it be Hamas. So, it's, it's, just, how, it's just how this club works. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, Till then, peace.